Good morning world. Happy Friday everybody. Welcome to the Paint with Pete gallery. You're still in the studio but we've got the gallery wall up. Sort my chair out as usual. Um, so I have my gallery underneath here just behind the big most wanted flag. Um, I want to start the show by thanking everybody who got involved last night. So last night or yesterday there were two Paint with Pete's. One 10 to 11, 1, 8 or 9 at night. And we basically, I've worked with Most Wanted for a couple of years. We created this uh, camo together. And we've also got a couple of collabs out. So it was only right to extend that collaboration into a pay with Pete times Most Wanted. Did a Liberty X thing as well. Liberty X, well. <laughs> so we've got a water bottle. We've got a backpack. And we've got a sweatshirt. Um, some of the little goodies as well. Um, so last night we collaborated on a Valentine's Day special paint with Pete, uh, where we had a little drink of Prosecco and got um, a little bit romantic, started channeling hearts and a bit of uh, love for Valentine's Day. Um, we did a competition to uh, give out some Valentine's, I love these guys, um, a competition to uh, acquire, to, uh, to get some, it was just a light, you know, giveaway. Uh, competition uh, where we designed a camo heart. I'm looking over there because there's one over there, I'll show you in a sec. Um, and we basically redrew that and then went through different ideas of how to create different types of Valentine's Day cards. I'll show you all that in a minute, but please take two minutes um, to get your work together. If you haven't got a, a space in your house, flat, apartment, cave, you know, tree house, wherever you are, um, please make sure you've got a little space for your work. Um, I've put the whole week's work up behind here. I'll do a crazy reveal in a minute. Um, we'll do that about five past 10. Um, and then we're gonna work on some of the pieces that we created this week. I just wanna make sure that we're finishing um, the MF Doom mask and we're finishing Spruce Banner as well. Um, and I'll show you what they look like flat. Obviously while we're working on them, I can show you. And then we're gonna frame them. And so I really wanna, I always push this on the Fridays. What it looks like flat after you've drawn it, is completely different from when you put it in a frame. So even if you 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 know, if you feel like your work's not really finished or it's a little bit rough around the edges, put it in a frame, it'll give it that really nice clean edge, and then all of those kind of creative lines really uh, pop out because you've got a really clean border to compare it to and contrast it to. Okay, there we are. I'm not excited to reveal, but I'm gonna give it a couple more minutes to sort my Mac out. So yeah, thanks for everyone who drew, uh, drew with us last night, honestly. Uh, I love Most Wanted, but I love the Paint With Pete audience. Um, thank you so much for everyone who sent work over. If you are saying to yourself, where is this magical video? Um, it will be online very soon. I think it's going to go up today. <clears throat> it was on our IGTV on Most Wanted Wines. Please follow those guys, Most Wanted Wines. Uh, we've got some few fingers in a few different pies this year. Um, I'm super excited to work with them. I uh, just want to shout everyone out who works for Most Wanted. They are an independent wine company. Um, so love to all the staff, everybody who's supporting, uh, especially the, the new creative director. Hello, friend. Um, thank you for all the efforts and the en energy and enthusiasm about my work. It's an absolute honor working with uh, Most Wanted. Uh, and again, super creative, really clean branding as a brand. Um, and, you know, perfect for... Uh, for a crazy, messy artist like myself to just get a bit rough around the edges and their branding brings it all back in. So, love to these guys. I mean, the flag's a perfect example. Really nice, clean font, clean branding. And obviously, uh, a little bit of Pete obsolete. Around it, there's Bandit Dog. There's a flower. Uh, we've got a peace sign and a skull. Plus, a uh, circle plus. Loads of little lines as well. Uh, you'll see where all those come back in. Uh, when I explain what we did this week. So Monday was doodles, like the structure for the paint with Pete's now. Monday, doodles. Tuesday is color. We just go crazy on color. Wednesday, lettering. Practice our letter forms. Go through a few different fonts. Excuse me, Thursday uh, was portraits. So we chose a random name out of the hat. You might be able to see him behind me. Maybe just designed. Uh, so I'll show you what happened then in a sec. And then uh, also yesterday night, we drew lobsters and hearts. We played a couple of uh, silly doodle games. 
bit of colouring in and stuff. And obviously today is the gallery, so we want to exhibit all the work that we've done this week. Pat ourselves on the back, and I just want to say thank you for, for getting involved, having that creative energy. Whether it's you, your kid, wife, partner, husband, girlfriend, whoever it is. 10 million points, in fact, we'll do a full round of applause. 10 million points to everyone who's just getting creative on a weekday in lockdown. Hopefully it'll be sorted soon. I also want to say thank you to everybody who, um, who got a Valentine's Day card. If you want any uh, customised uh, messages really, I think the post might be a little bit um, too late for Valentine's now. Soz, they were online last week. Um, if you want any special messages, I will be releasing some custom versions of these. So you can just say whatever you want. I'll draw some examples, but if you've got an idea for a card, give me a shout. I'll hand draw it, gold leaf them in, put a message in the card if you want, whatever you like. Obviously everyone gets a paint with Pete sticker. I have loads of them, so if anybody wants to shout me out um, and send me your address, <clears throat> I can send you a couple of these to colour in however you like. There's already a, a couple of hundred in the world already, um, and thank you for everyone sending their coloured in paint with Pete stickers. Okay, it's reveal time. I'm just going to drink from my lovely, obsolete and most wanted wine, uh, water bottle. Okay, so I'm going to reveal, so I'm just going to... Uh, set this guy up and then we'll do the uh, the big reveal. All right, there we are Wow, it's loads brighter in this setup <laughs> Okay, amazing. So I'm gonna remove my most wanted flag Excuse me Okay So this is the week's work that we've done. This is just one week in the Paint With Pete studio. Um, if you have uh, been following the Paint With Pete, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. It might be a little bit smaller. I like doing mine big um, so everyone can see them. And I love drawing big. It's a really nice test of confidence. And again, practice those little lines, extend them, bit of confidence. Okay, so Monday. Monday was doodle day. So on Monday, we looked at uh, this fine guy. So we were looking at um, Jack Doors. I'm part of a team called the Wingers. Uh, we're designing a bird a bird box. Um, there's nothing online just yet. It's a secret. Um, but we're designing bird boxes for our custom birds. I chose a Jack Door. Um, all in honour of my uh, stepdad. Um, he used to have a pet Jack Door. Um, so I didn't want to just do a normal jack door. I decided to uh, create or use something that I know in the world already that exists and kind of uh, put a slant on it. So if you know Feathers McGraw from um, The Wrong Trousers from Wallace and Gromit, Feathers McGraw is a penguin. He dresses up as a chicken um, to impersonate a chicken so no one knows that he's a diamond thief. So he's a, an international diamond thief. I have designed uh, Jack Daw McGraw. I think Jack McGraw is a really good detective name anyway, uh, but Jack Daw McGraw is Feather's uh, cousin, so he is a vigilante and he will he's forever hunting his cousin to lock him up. He lives in a top hat. Um, <laughs> we had to come up this, <laughs> this is my brain. Um, so he lives in a top hat in the chimney of 20, 221B Baker Street, which is where Sherlock Holmes lives. So he's a little bit of a master detective, vigilante, hunting his cousin, who's an international diamond thief. So there we are, he lives in a top hat. So that was Monday, and all we did was go through um, like the, the breaking an image up into shapes, much like our lettering, and then I just kind of customised him. I put a, a Baker Boy hat on, like a Peaky Blinder hat. Easier way of saying it is Peaky Blinders, they are called Baker Boys. Um, delivery Boys who used to deliver bread used to wear them. Um, and then, his suit, and he's got a jacket, he's got kind of a long coat on, magnifying glass, some brogues, I've got the final drawing, he's got brogues on, um, and like uh, maybe a monocle as well, I think, actually. He's also got a Sherlock Holmes tattoo on his neck, just to make sure they're friends, all right? He's right there. Okay, so that was Monday. Very simple, it was a doodle day, but again, every Monday we've been kind of like loose and fluid, we did our uh, heart 
camo heart as well, just to get our hands warm. But then I decided to bring those lines in a little bit, make it a little bit more, uh, what's the word, purposeful, I guess. Give them a context, make it a bit neater. And we have Jack Don McGraw. There we are. Please think of an animal, think of a crazy job, and you can draw him. It doesn't matter if you can't draw tigers or lemurs or whatever you want. Just draw, it doesn't matter. Let's have some more water. Lovely. So Tuesday, Tuesday was colour day, one of my favourite days. First thing we always do on a Tuesday is draw our egg heads. So I've got a series of these. We're in our fourth week of the uh, current Paint with Pete series uh, since mid-January. So I've done a pink and red. We did an egg. We broke the face up into sections. We then filled those sections with actual detail, so eye shape, mouth shape, nose, etc. And then I decided to go over it with my black in a signature obsolete line. Again, to kind of uh, remind everyone that the black line, my signature line, comes from this structure directly. Eyes, nose, mouth, head shape, the proportions are just about there. I extend if I'm freestyling. Um, but there we are. So you can create a kind of obsolete head as well, just from following that um, simple and effective skull drawing technique. All right, or face drawing technique, shall I say. Okay. And then the other day, I'll just put it in there for a sec. You can go back in there in a sec. The other thing on Tuesday that we do is we choose some colours. So I basically asked the audience of the Paint With Peeps to come up with a descriptive word and a colour. So we've had like pink, lavender, purple. What, we have, what did we have last time? Our um, uh, for, uh, rust orange, shout out to Siobhan. Uh, for our hitcher piece, that's in a previous session if you ever want to see it. So I asked for a colour. The colour was green, specifically uh, British Racing, I think uh, MK Minor Fitness, Charles Bro, um, came up with, uh, what was it, mini, old school, classic mini racing green it was. Um, my favourite car is the classic Mini Cooper. Might have to shut that window. Uh, it's the classic Mini Cooper, um, one of the one of the best um, sort of one of the palettes for the Mini Cooper paint uh, was this kind of racing green, which I absolutely love. Um, so shouts to MK for the shout, and also shouts to Ethan and Harry uh, for getting involved with the colour. And I painted it. We painted a couple of different greens, blended it, made a few different greens. So on the journey to getting the right green, we found. Three other amazing greens. This palette is one of my favourites of all time. I'm not even kidding. This isn't black. This is a really, really dark green. And I think instead of using black, it gives it a slightly softer tone, but also echoes the other greens that we made. Created one green in the paint, mixed it. Added black, added white, added a bit of blue. Switched the colour. I'm going to close that window. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. Don't they know we've got a paint with Pete on? Who do they think they are? Okay, so we also added some white, so I put my signature skull in. Obviously I had to leave it to dry, so I did the black line um, in the lettering day, I think, on Wednesday. Wednesday or Thursday. Um, so we did our black line. We also came up with a name. So I always ask my audience to name the canvases, so you are directly involved in any kind of uh, piece, project, uh, sale, anything like that. Um, you are directly involved in it because you name the pieces. So we've had a uh, shout to uh, shout to Rachel Archer off of Most Wanted Wines. She picked up a canvas. I'd mentioned that um, excuse me. I'd mentioned that I didn't have a name for the piece. Uh, she sent me a photo yesterday. It looks amazing in her house, and she's called it Pink Angel. It's kind of a, a rune-based uh, background with a skull in it, and then pink and then white. Very very uh, kind of deep. Kind of a lot more um, effects on it than this, but so she came up with the name herself. I honoured that name. That was a beautiful name. And honestly, I'll put the photo up in a bit. Um, it looks amazing. Very happy with that. Talking of names, Mr. E and Mr. Harry came up with Spruce Banner. So Spruce, as in a uh, clean and fresh, like a uh, green. 
Spruce is a type of tree, right? Um, and also Banner, so Spruce Banner is a pun on Bruce Banner, who is also the Hulk. The Hulk, what colour is the Hulk? Several different greens, depending on which film you watch. <laughs> also depending on how angry he gets and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there is Red Hulk, actually, as well. Um, so we all... Oh, oh. There might be another idea in there. Okay. So even on the journey to the name, there's an idea coming up. This guy is not finished yet. I want to put some gold in his eyes. I always like making gold uh, or putting gold in the eyes. Uh, instantly singing Goldeneye now in my head. Um, no, no, no. Um, that's my Tina and Sona impression. So we're going to paint their eyes gold. I'm going to just go over those lines a little bit. So it, again, that gold will create a depth. I want it to run over the paint so it lumps a little bit. gives it a bit of relief, a bit of effect. And then go over it again with the black. And then you'll see them flat and framed. We haven't got a reveal today. So I just want to show you what a kind of a rougher edge canvas looks like. Normally, mask and tape the sides up and then we slowly peel those off. And you've got this frame within a frame. I kind of want to show you just as a full piece without any uh, masking, what it looks like. So he's going to go back into the gallery. We need to add some gold. Talking of gold. I hear you shout. Tuesday was colour day as well. So we went from having a, a, I was very happy with the original drawing, with a black and white drawing of the MF Doom skull, which was chosen. Uh, last week, I think uh, Malin Hughes, excuse me, or Mr. Ethan Callahan, um, chose, gave me the name uh, MF Doom. Again, we, I wanted to honour one of the, uh, the finest creators in hip hop, MC producer, affiliate collaborator, legend, MC, alter ego. So we drew Doom's mask, we added some eyes for the human element. Uh, I do want to edit that a little bit today, but I just basically got a dry brush, my new Mr. Dead, um, and just kind of went over the, uh, the uh, mask. So it affected it a little bit. I don't know if you can see the, uh, the kind of battle worn element because the brush was dry it tore rather than painted the gold on so it's got this kind of effect um, i've got a few more lines to add to this guy before he's finished i also might add um some obsolete um tattoos or facial marks and um, we will see i don't really want to it is a bit of a risk because i really like the drawing I think it's, it shows MF Doom really well. Um, spell his name all caps, obviously. Uh, or spell all caps when you spell the last name. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm wrapping on a Friday. So there's a few more little bits that I want to add to that to bring it even more closer to the MF Doom face. Uh, his mask is normally silver. I chose gold, again, to honor his death. Okay, um, on. So that was color. We're just still on Tuesday. Amazing, what a fantastic week it's been. Wednesday was lettering. So normally we practice our bubble font, much like the B kind. So every week we will make, I'll get them now, two seconds. So every week I like making these name plaques um, and you can use them at will. They're kind of a uh, complete freestyle. Doesn't matter what the word is. I'll always put the um, alphabet up so you can all see the bubble alphabet. If you have missed a couple of the, uh, the writing workshops or the lettering workshops um, on the 18th, the week of the 18th, 18th, 19th, it would have been the 20th of January. Uh, I can't remember which number of the shows it was, but we went through the basic structure of the uh, bubble font I'll do it every week because I want everybody to at least have something that looks like this that they've drawn so you can always call back to that font. I decided to flip it a little bit and go down this route. So we flipped it. We did our bubble font thing. So we did our be kind. Nice and easy. Again, simply by cutting it out makes it look different, slightly different aesthetic. Um, and gives it a kind of a real frame, actually, like a structure. You can put it on your wall, look at it, remind yourself. We've also done loads that, you know, so there's the obsolete. We 
did a RIP Sir Tom for last week. RIP. Very simple. Pencil bubble line, overwritten pen. Work out where we want the letters to sit. So I'm, I go behind every time, and then behind as it goes down. Cut it out, put it up, and again, add a little something to it, makes it a little bit different. I kind of really like these. They're not really, uh, they don't really serve much purpose apart from reminding me what we've done, what I've done, and also putting a smile on my face because I like the aesthetics of it. So there's Sir Tom. Obviously, we are always honouring, as we all should every day, the amazing people in the NHS and all our amazing health workers, care workers, and essential peoples, right? I mean, everyone's essential, right? I don't know why that's even a thing, but essential workers, we love you. Thank you for your efforts. It is not going unnoticed by the public, even if it's going unnoticed by the government, sadly. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you for your efforts and service. And last, but by certain no means least, there's the most wanted one. So we did this yesterday. I drew this up yesterday uh, for the obsolete most wanted colon. So there we are, obsolete most wanted. In fact, I'm going to do a paint with Pete one next week. Um, so on, I better remember it, on Wednesday we'll do a paint with Pete nameplate. Please draw alongside me. You can put it up in your house. And every time we do a paint with Pete, like my on air sign that I constantly forget to turn on, um, we can have, we can all have, you know, oh, it's 10 o'clock, put the paint with Pete sign up, get into the mindset, take a nice deep breath and get creative. We're going to do that next week. If I remember, something else might come up over the weekend that deserves um, our time and our energies as well. So that might come into it. We'll try and do a paint with Pete one so everyone's got a sign for their flat or their house or their studio or their garage, whatever you want. Okay, cool. So be kind. That was Wednesday. We all, uh, I wanted to flip it a little bit. So we went from bubble. You'll see me do this quite a lot in the paint with Pete's. So go from like nice, slow, smooth curves, nice bubble letters into something a lot more scratchy. There we are. So we went down the kind of uh, runic route. One of the descriptive words, thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Barton, once again. Uh, for everything, as well as the uh, suggestions and descriptions of the words. So we had runic, there was gaming, arcade, uh, retro, uh, blah, 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 there was something else. I can't remember. Anyway, um, so I decided to go down runic because it's a very close to my heart and obviously very close to my art style as well. Um, so I do quite a, quite a few different bits. I'll show you this bit quick if I can. Just so you can see where the practice starts and where the practice ends a little bit so I mean this isn't a definite um, room camo this is painted it's not using the pen but again you can see that they're related um, pretty well through the structure of the letters and obviously I'm playing around with things like spacing leading and kerning which are the spaces between the letters and the spaces between the, the sentences the lines so there we are. So this was the practice. One more time, there's the practice. And there's the execution. I made this a couple of months ago, uh, but again, it's just a little bit of development. And again, trusting myself, putting the, uh, the borders in, painting it completely freehand, and seeing what happens. Let the experiment decide what happens. I love that idea. That was Wednesday. So we also made a Be Kind uh, plaque in the room as well you can put your name house name family name partner's name whatever you want again it might not feel like the best gift in the world i'm sure that doesn't matter much like the uh, the handmade cards it's all about having something that's got a little bit of human uh, touch in it as well i love that okay so wednesday that was wednesday thursday it was only yesterday Thursday is portrait day in the uh, Paint with Pete gallery. Uh, so we've done Donald Trump, we have done Jim Carrey, we have done Mr. MF Doom. I put the names in the hat. And this guy came out, hopefully you can recognize this guy straight away. Um, I still don't know why I did it on such an angle. I think because the picture was slightly angled, I accentuated that because we're doing kind of caricatures. 
Um, so he's, I'll hold it straight. <laughs> there we go. So we chose Keanu Reeves out of the hat. Here is Mr. Keanu Reeves. So this is my interpretation of his face. Um, you know, really, really good face to draw. Uh, very good looking dude. He's got loads of elements to him. Like he's got a slightly longer nose than the uh, proportions. Smaller eyes, slightly narrower, longer head as well. And obviously because he's got that beard, we can extend that face to bring these cheekbones out. He's got really good cheekbones. I'm just speaking as an artist, right? I know uh, obviously I look at a lot of faces. We all do. It's the internet and social media and dating apps and Instagram, whatever. So we all see a lot of faces. Um, I'd really recommend trying to uh, draw those faces, even if it's in your head for like two seconds or whatever. Just start recognizing the spaces between the eyes and where the nose sits and the mouth. Um, I read one uh, ages ago that Elizabeth Hurley um, has the perfect ratio for a face. Um, they literally, you know, science, they, the scientists, the scientists, uh, worked out what the proportions of the most uh, not attractive, well, the most attractive face to a human, um, and it ends up they took a net and put it over uh, Elizabeth Hurley's face. Again, it's those little tricks. Like I go back to that because then I know where the spacing is. I know like, oh, there's someone who has the perfect face. Perfect is obviously a massive grey area for everybody involved. Um, but again, structurally, we're probably going off the Roman and Greek or Greco-Roman idea of beauty at that point. Um, so sculptures and statues and stuff. Study your faces. I studied Keanu. Uh, well, I've been studying Keanu Reeves since <laughs> since um, Bill and Ted. Um, and shouts to Speed and, you know, shouts, um, you know, there's so many films that he's in. So we've seen his face a lot. Drawing it is a little bit different. I didn't draw him as a character, I draw him as Keanu Reeves. So it's got a lot softer kind of human elements in it. It does reduce our palette of what we can uh, include. So if I wanted to, eh, we could, I could turn him into a modern Neo. Neo didn't have a beard, but if I painted his eyes green or put some letters in the background, it would look like the Matrix. I could draw a bus <laughs> coming out of his ear. Speed, um, I could draw a motorbike, like Chain Reaction. He's a motorbiker as well. Loads of different ideas. Test yourself a little bit, choose a famous person, who you like, and draw them. Simple as that. Uh, we nodded a bit more towards the uh, the Doom Skull as well, the Doom Mask as well. Um, so now, all we've got to do on the Doom uh, face, add a few more lines, just get it nice and accurate. Uh, I've got a picture here, so this is the picture we're going off. Slightly different angle, but again, we can use those elements really well. I can decide what lines I want to include and what I don't. I'm going to be doing that in brew time, which is two minutes away. So the other thing we did on Thursday, so this was yesterday, is the Paint With Pete Most Wanted collab as well. So uh, we had portrait day, we drew Keanu Reeves. Thank you so much for joining me if you did. If you joined us at eight uh, o'clock yesterday night, last night, Give yourself a massive pat on the back. We had a, a Prosecco or two and we got creative. So basically what we did was uh, myself and Most Wanted came up with these. So this is my uh, obsolete camo heart. We sent these out as Valentine's Day cards in the collab to 50 people. Specifically to, uh, to play with us last night on the Paint With Pete Most Wanted show. Obviously not everyone got one, so I wanted to make sure everybody got a kind of a baseline. So, we did our standard heart camo. So good warm up exercises, just two, three, four, five minutes. There we are. So we practiced our question mark hearts and our single line hearts, which we did on Monday. We also did our heart of hearts. We drew a heart, nice big heart, and then filled it with those practice hearts that we've done just then. Slightly thinner pen, a little bit more uh, cautious, a little bit more uh, accurate. It'll go up in a sec as well, I'll put these up in a minute. We then created our own uh, elemental heart or the obsolete camo heart. So that one's, uh, this one's mine. Loads of different elements in there. 
but I wanted everyone to draw one. Uh, thank you so much if you sent me the photos. I love every single one of them. Um, we chose four elements to start with. We drew our heart as we practiced. We chose a palm tree, a flower, bandit dog, who is a character foremost wanted that I created. He's a dog and a bandit, bandit dog. And a heart, obviously. And then we chose four different types of lines. So we've got wavy, spiky, lumpy, and smoky. We then drew palm trees and flowers, a couple of bandit dogs, loads of hearts. We then used these lines to link them all up. And then we colored a couple of sections in. We chose an icon to color in, chose a color, and colored it in. And we have, there's my uh, most wanted obsolete camo heart. Again, if you did draw one, if you're drawing one now, please send that over. We want to see them. Um, there was a competition as well. You can win a whole uh, bottle of Prosecco on Most Wanted. If you follow Most Wanted, tag them in some pieces and stuff. Tag me as well. There we are. So, that, my friends, is brew time. So, halfway through the show, we will always take two to five minutes just to come back to ourselves. We're in a gallery today, so we're not, not crazy amounts of uh, creative energy. It's exhibition energy, different kind of thing. We're talking about our work, reviewing it, and displaying it, first and foremost. I'm going to set my gallery back up. I'm going to move Doom down. I want to finish Doom. And if I can, I'm going to have to get some gold on him now. So let's do that. Just put all these back up, excuse me. Lovely. Okay, hope everyone's having a nice Friday. We made it, got another week. Take him down because we're going to paint him. Let's do that. Just short jack out. He looks like uh, Conor McGregor for no reason. Anyway, you got to beat Cam back up as well. Shouts to uh, the queens of English street art, Nomad Clan. Please follow Nomad Clan, N-O-M-A-D-C-L-A-N. If you haven't seen their work, I'm jealous um, because they are amazing. They hold the record for the tallest uh, what is it, tallest uh, piece of graffiti in Europe. It's called Athena Rising. It's in Leeds. Please check their website out. Amazing. Okay, so I'm going to get my gold. I'm just wanting to dab the eyes. So, where's Mr. Gold on? Is it? Is it? Okay, cool. So I've got my gold pot. I don't think this is liquid anymore. Nope. So even though if it's airtight, the gold is dried. I only need the touchiest, the tiniest amount in here. Holding my, holding my breath the whole time. Because this stuff is strong. Okay, so I'm just going to use my Mr. Dead. I'm just going to work straight onto my desk. I'm going to tilt them a little bit, just so it dips a little bit. Get yourself a uh, folding desk, they're the best. There you go. Okay, and we're done. So, Gonna let that gold fall however he wants. Beautiful. Okay, a little bit more there. Just wait for him to drip. There we go, and off he goes. Cool. So instead of uh, he's going in the water. I'm just going back on there. 
breathe properly, properly again now. Can't speak properly apparently. Okay, cool. So you can probably see him dripping. You want to try not get out on the carpet. So just to add some um, cross eyes, and that gold is now dripping. Should be down here by now, somewhere, just about. So I'm going to lie him flat. I'm happy where that drip is. So obviously if I lie him flat, the drip can't go anywhere. It dries a lot quicker because it's not moving. Very simple. Okay, we're going to move over to Doom. And I just want to make sure that we've got the last couple of lines on Doom. I know there's a few more. That's not enough detail for me. Center line, top line, eyebrows, a couple of jaw lines. So we're going to do that. Get him back. So I'm using my medium black Posca. I'll probably use a thin one as well just for any more detail. Uh, we've ended the brew time, so apologies. I'm not working quick enough apparently. I'm just going to add some lines here and I'll show you in a second. After that, we're going to get framing, finish off spruce banner, put them in a frame so you see them flat and you see them framed. Lovely. Give me a shout out as well if you want. I think I was doing alright. Just grabbing my lid. Oh, good morning, hello. Morning, Luke. Please check Luke Keneally out, uh, Slug and Slime community. Mwah. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Uh, shout out to Mr. Ed Hampton as well. Uh, really good to hear that you and your girlfriend and your mum and dad were getting involved in the most wanted stuff last night. Um, it means so much. I was just here in my studio on my own with a camera and some artwork and obviously some lovely Prosecco. Obviously, I had some fantastic company that I didn't know I had. Thank you so much for getting involved. Just little effects on my Doom mask, just to give him a bit more shape, a bit more form. Get his eyes right. That's way better. Okay, cool. Two seconds, you'll see it in a minute. Okay, so I'm literally just checking my work, going over it, editing a little bit. Okay, then we've got the one here. Okay, I'm going to switch my pen to a slightly narrower pen. Use it in here. So use my uh, 3M instead. Again, just editing, sorry, I'm uh, not really interacting that much. Um, I'll be two seconds, I just need to grab my black. I don't want to show you until I'm happy with it, but um, I'll show you now. So again, all I'm doing is editing that face bringing it in a little bit, narrowing it up, and adding some lines. So this is where we are at the moment. Regard A. Okay. So yeah, I've just basically added a bit of shape to the eye, on the eyes. 
make him look a little bit more like his, uh, his picture. Yep, yep, cool. Last couple of lines now. Okay. Again, being very careful here. Those last lines, I don't, I don't want to uh, change the drawing too much. Okay. That's not straight. Okay. Again, just a little bit more effect line just to give it something else. So we've done black on black over black paint as well. Black Posca over black paint. And then paint back over Posca. Bit of gold. Some more Posca, different thicknesses for details. And again, this kind of uh, Love this, absolutely love this. Okay, cool. So I've brought his eyes down a little bit so they're a little bit darker, emotion, emotional wise. Here can go. Okay. Here's my doom. There we go. So he's ready to frame. I need to leave him to dry for a minute. Let's go back to our spruce banner. Have a look at him. He should be dry immediately. Yep. Amazing. Okay, so while Doom is drying, I'm just gonna ink in or ink over my spruce banner piece. The green guy. Lovely, okay, I'm gonna sign that as well. His name is Spruce Banner, his name is going on the piece. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Spruce Banner, minus the frame, we'll get to that in a couple of minutes. So what I've done is added some gold. I hold my brush down on a, an angled desk, so it's not dripping straight. It's got a kind of controlled, but it's uh, controlled drip, but it's still dripping. And then um, hold the brush against the middle after the plus, and so it'll squeeze all that ink out, and it'll allow it to drip uh, uber naturally like that. So one side might be a little bit uh, asymmetrical to the other. It's fine, absolutely fine. In fact, I love that. So while he's drying, let's leave him up there. Yeah. Okay. Doom is very nearly dry. While we are waiting for Mr. Doom, I'm going to frame our Eggman. I'm going to frame all the big pieces, actually. So I'm going to frame the Eggman. I think I just called him uh, Mr. Egg, actually. Uh, Keanu, Doom, and even one of these, because again, I want to show you how it can look rough and how, how good a frame can make something look. So, 
We'll start with Mr. Egg. I've got my frame here. Switch him over. Move him. Please take photos of your gallery and send them me. Um, I love seeing people's artwork. I love it even more if it's got a bit of a context or like where you're working. Um, just having your work laid out is a really good mentality for drawing as well. All right, so backboard out. He's all right, he's all right, yep. Eggman is going in. Can I have a drum roll, please? Someone give me a drum roll. So, come on. So we had Eggman. Two seconds. Sorry guys, just check in. So again, we've done our Eggman. The difference in the frame is absolutely ridiculous. So you've gone from having a kind of sketchbook piece to what would look really good against a green or yellow wall, simply for these tones. There we are. Mr. Eggman. Again, I've got like four of these so far. We do one every week. Um, so we use our, testing ourselves, we use our structure of the face. Uh, and we can turn that into a piece. It's all knowledge, it's all research for yourself. And obviously practice makes every single time. Mr. Egg, there's no Mr. Egg. Mr. Egg can go back on the wall. I will put them back up once we're done with them in the frame. Uh, so next up, we'll do Keanu. So, I really like all the celebrities we've been drawing with, apart from the first one. I chose the first one uh, as a certain uh, ex-president, but I didn't have the right uh, colour for his face. Impeach, obviously. Um, since then, we've chosen amazing people. Thank you so much for getting involved, shouting me out, giving me ideas daily um, for stuff to draw in the sessions. Um, so yeah, we had Jim Carey as well. He's Grim Carey. We drew a... Uh, Mr. Keanu a little bit differently, a little bit neater, so he's not as nightmare, so we didn't need to change his name too much. Uh, if anyone's got any uh, good Keanu puns, if we drew Keanu a little bit nightmarish, um, Keanu Greaves, uh, what else we got? Send me some, love me some puns. So again, might look like a sketchbook piece, when he's flat, I've got really dirty hands. Clean my frame, two seconds. Always wise to <laughs> whoops, uh, wash your hands before handling nice new frames. Um, but there we go, so he's gone from flat to framed. And again, I'm sure you'll agree it looks totally different. Not totally different, but it looks a lot smoother, smarter. So there's Keanu. He was a 20 minute drawing. But again, I do feel I could frame if I wanted. It will change it, make it smarter. Okay, next up, I'll do the heart of hearts. So, Mr. Reeves, you can go back down there. He's all right. So, we'll do the heart of hearts next. We're still waiting for a spruce banner and um, an MF Doom to dry. Give us a second, won't be long at all. Okay, so next up, we've got the heart of hearts. So, this was created yesterday in the uh, most wanted. Uh, collaboration live over on Instagram TV. Absolutely loved it last night. I really, really did. Uh, free Prosecco will always help. Um, but obviously, you know, good company and a, a good bit of creative energy goes a long, long way. A little bit off centre and all that. But again, this was definitely a sketchbook piece. But even stuck in the frame. I've got to cut that. Don't worry about that. Even stuck in the frame, it does give it an actual uh, proportion, a size and a purpose on the wall. I'd recommend getting some uh, good frames, um, not, not crazy expensive, I know a lot of them can be, have a look on Amazon, that's where I get mine from. 
Okay, so next up, I think Doom's about dry. I'm really, now we're finished with Doom. I'm really excited to see what Doom looks like in the frame. Um, so, next is going to be Spruce Banner. 100% uh, audience uh, designed. I painted it, but this is audience chosen colours, audience chosen name, and obviously I am just a mere conduit for uh, creative energy. Um, so I'll do my little bit, and obviously the amazing audience do their little bit as well. Thank you so much for uh, getting involved every single day. Even if you're just watching, you're involved, right? Simples. Okay, so Spruce is in. Let's get our backboard in. Come on. Okay, be careful on the uh, supports. I put one through my thumb in the very first week. Uh, bled all over my canvas. I haven't, I just, you, you probably saw my reaction just then. I'm very happy with this. Uh, it's rare that I actually use negative space, um, that I use the white, I like covering, I've said it before, I like pushing this paper, uh, I use 200 gram, uh, 200 GSM um, cartridge paper from Cass Art, please check out Cass Art, amazing sketchbooks, amazing products. So I like to push that paper as far as I can, I like putting, punch the my piece there, sorry, sorry Spruce, um, I like using my paper as much as I can, layering, constantly putting uh, paint on and all that sort of stuff. You do have to be careful. If you are only using um, A4, it's about 100, 120 GSM instead of 200, 210. Um, so that paper is a lot thinner. It will drink your paint and ink in and it will start rippling. I like pushing my paper, but I, I very rarely leave the actual paper at the back. Um, that wasn't a speed thing. That was just something that I wanted to try a little bit different because I'm gonna start playing with color and using this negative in my future work. I am very, very happy with this. Here's Spruce Banner. Hopefully you can see his eyes glinting in that light. I don't know if you can. Very happy with him. I'm just gonna leave him there momentarily. Okay. So, Mr. Spruce Banner, he can go back up. The last thing I want to uh, frame is my MF Doom piece. If you're a fan of MF Doom, um, give me a shout out and stuff. I obviously am. Um, a rap I've tried to produce before, nightmare. Um, this guy's absolutely amazing. He uh, uses his alter ego as MF Doom, so he wears a gladiator mask. I'm gonna frame my drawing of him um, in a second. Let's do it right now. So the backboard's out. Shout out to everyone watching. If you're locked in with me, hello. We're already friends. Um, I'm gonna need to write RIP on the bottom of that. So where's my pens? Oh yeah, we'll do that. I'm gonna use my bronze and just write RIP at the bottom of this. Uh, it's running out. Two seconds, everyone. Just get my gold. I'm just grabbing a pen to uh, mark. I want white. I'm being picky as hell, but I want white. Cool. So, flip it to the white Posca. All I've done is write RIP and white at the bottom there. Simples, I'm gonna sign it as well. I'm tempted to add a little bit to this, but if I sign it, it's kind of finished. Obviously I can go back to it if I wanted to, but I just wanna make sure that it's signed. Okay. So there's uh, Mr. MF Doom sign. Just take his blue tack off. Uh, 
Doom's in, so I need the backboard. A little bit more blue tack off him. Sorry, mate. Just being a little bit more cautious, making sure that all the uh, supports are in. There we go. Okay, cool. So here's Doom. Lovely. Lovely job. So there's our MF Doom piece on a. <laughs> I've got dirty hands. Excuse the uh, dirty, uh, slightly dirty frame. So we drew this last week uh, in our celebrity um, portrait day. In our uh, celebrity portrait day, I absolutely love the drawing. I love the suggestion. It was perfect. Um, you know, I love people with alter egos. Uh, so having that element in there as well plays up to my alter ego as Pete Obsolete. So being able to draw the character and a little bit of him, excuse me, a little bit of his human self is in there. As with Spruce Banner, as with the heart, as with, as with Keanu and the previous weeks, having it framed, whole different ball game. Like, so we go from having this kind of rough edge to having this really clean, it's filthy. <laughs> I'll clean the mirror. Uh, mirror, I'll clean the frame very soon. Um, but having this kind of clean edge and then white and then the rough black and then having this super neat edge that we've gone over a couple of times to make sure we're right and accurate. So you've got this kind of smooth, smooth white, rough black, smooth gold, rough gold in the middle for the bottle worn element. And again, clean lines all the way through it. Ladies and gentlemen, MF Doom. There we go. I'll leave him up. I'll just blue tack everybody else back up so we can see them before we go. So we're just coming to the end of the session now as well. Uh, what an amazing week in the paint with Pete's. I've absolutely loved everything we've done this week, uh, as I always do. If anyone does any, have any ideas of uh, things you want to see me draw, um, give me a shout. I need some suggestions for our uh, ever continuing portrait day. So every Thursday's portraits. Um, if you suggest somebody now or on Sunday, if you mention me, um, give me a tag in the comments and all that sort of stuff. Tag the video if you wanted anything. That will go into where should I put him? You can go there. That will go into my magic hat, uh, my magic sorting hat on Thursday, and we could be drawing someone that you've chosen. Um, the only uh, pinky promise I need from you is that you're drawing with me as well. Uh, they can be as strange as Grim Carey. So I drew Jim Carrey, again another very uh, very amazing looking dude, that's how it turned out, not the best, a little bit scary, I've got him Grim Carrey, doesn't matter if you can draw or not, okay? Thank you very much, again I do want to just uh, take a second to say thank you for getting involved, uh, I'm doing these paint with Pete's to keep myself and the audience busy, just for an hour in the mornings, 10 to 11 on weekdays, um, I'm working a lot from home obviously, uh, you know, we've got to be cautious of what's happening in the world right now. So I'm channeling my creativity into my artwork, to, into Obsolete and into the Paint With Pete sessions. I absolutely love these sessions. It wakes me up, gets me creative. And if you get 1% of that, then uh, amazing work and congratulations. Thank you for joining. A couple of shout outs just before we go. One more minute. Please give me a shout out and follow me. We can be friends. Um, I love anybody who wants to be an artist, is an artist, dreams of being an artist, has ever drawn in their life. So I make a lot of friends. Um, please be friends with me. I am Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats MCR on Facebook. You are watching Obsolete Formats MCR. If you have missed any of the shows, please check out my YouTube channel. All of the shows will be on there. Um, today's will be on later. That is Obsolete Formats on YouTube. I am also Pete Obsolete and Obsolete Formats on Instagram and Snob underscore Ross with the dollar signs. Snob Ross on Twitter. Please give me a shout. 
Um, I'm still learning my Twitter. <laughs> so uh, still having fun. But again, anything can be creative, even your social media ideas, all the way down to doodling, singing, dancing, writing poetry, whatever. If you are feeling like the outside world is getting a little bit on top, or like the news is a bit too dark and all that sort of stuff, I obviously agree we are into the, uh, what, what is technically the 11th month. Um, take some time, drink some water, eat some food, eat some fruit, and go for a walk, or stick your head out the window for a couple of minutes. Get back to yourself, channel that positive vibe, channel that creative energy, and grab a pen and just draw something. It doesn't matter what. I will see you on Monday. Monday is doodle day, so we start our week nice and fresh with some doodling. I will see you at 10 o'clock to 11 on Monday. Thank you to Most Wanted. I may, I'm going to put them back up. Screw it. Thank you so much to Most Wanted for last night. And again, anybody who joined me last night for doodling and, and drinking some Prosecco, 10 billion points. Amazing work. Stay safe. Stay creative. I will see you on Monday. Ciao.